So in this video here, I'm just going to be simplifying some exponential problems. In this case, we are going to be dealing with the ones that are adding or subtracting, right? Now, I mean, the previous video, we were doing uh, ones that are multiplying, right? So if you didn't see that video, please look in the description below or in the comment section. I have included that video of simplifying exponents which are multiplying and dividing. Anyways, let's do this one here. So let's say you have three to the power of x plus 1 minus 4 multiplied by 3 to the power of x minus 1 divided by 3 to the power of x minus 2, right? So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to expand these exponents here. We will expand them so we have 3 to the power of x multiplied by 3 to the power of 1 minus 4 times 3 to the power of x multiplied by 3 to the power of minus 1 divided by 3 to the power of x multiplied by 3 to the power of minus 2, right? And then from here, all you do is you check exponents that are of the same, uh, that belong to the same uh, exponent, rather. So this is the same base, it is exponent x, same base, exponent x, same base, exponent x. So if you see this, you're just going to factorize that exponent, that, that base with that exponent, right? So we're going to say 3 to the power of x, we factorized it. it, what remains is 3 to the power of 1, this 3 to the power of 1, minus 4, which is this 4 here multiplied by 3 to the power of minus 1, close bracket, divide by 3 to the power of x, multiplied by 3 to the power of minus 2. Why are we factorizing it? Because it's the same as the one at the bottom, so that we'll be able to divide them out, right? And then from here, what you'll have is 3 to the power of 1, sorry about that, so it's 3 to the power of 1, it's 3 to the power of 1 minus 4, multiplied by 3 to the power of minus 1, divide by 3 to the power of minus 2. Right, and then from here, what you do is this. Um, let's change this three to the power of minus two. How do you change it? You know, there's one here that you can't see. You take it to the bottom. How do you take it to the bottom? Is because everything is divided by one, and then you remain one over three to the power of two. So let's do that. So it's going to be three to the power of one minus four multiplied by even this three to the power of minus one. This one here, we're just going to change it into one over three. Right. So I hope we all understand that. So it's going to be multiplied by one over three divide by um, let me put brackets here so it's divide by 1 over 3 to the power of 2 right and then from here um, it's because it's divided by we're going to say 3 to the power of 1 minus 4 over 3 right and then we say divide by 1 over 3 to the power of 2 so if you have division it's going to change you can change it to multiplication uh, for you to change it you have to tip and multiply so you're going to 3 to the power of 1 minus 4 over 3, right? And then we multiply. So what's at the bottom is going to go at the top. What's at the top will go at the bottom. So you have 3 to the power of 2 over 1. Then you're going to multiply that inside the bracket. So you'll have, um, so you'll have 3 to the power of 1 multiplied by 3 to the power of 2 minus 4 multiplied by 3 to the power of 2 over 3, right? I hope you understand that. These 3 to the power of 2 will multiply everything that is inside here, right? And then from there, this is going to be 3 to the power of 3, right? Because the same base, we add exponents minus here, it's 3 to the power of 2, and then here it's 3 to the power of 1, right? This is 3 to the power of 1, 3 to the power of 2. So what you do is you can take this to the top. You'll have 3 to the power of 2 multiplied by 3 to the power of minus 1, which is 3 to the power of 1, right? So it's going to be minus 4 multiplied by 3 to the power of 1. And then from here, you can just um, punch through your calculator, right? You can just say, what is 3 to the power of 3? It's 27, right? Minus 4 times 3, it's 12. Then what is your final answer? It's 15. So this is your answer for this problem here. Um, but we don't, we're not sure whether it's the answer, right? So how do you know that it's the actual answer of the problem? You go back to your original equation of 3 to the power of x plus 1 minus 4 multiplied by 3 to the power of x minus 1 divided by 3 to the power of x minus 2. You go back here and you do your checks. You can substitute any value of x. It can be 1, can be 2, can be 3, can be 4. Just any value of x. So it can be negative. It can be negative 1, negative 2. Just any value of x substitute it here and here and here and then punch through your calculator and see the answer that you're getting if you are getting 
15, which is the answer that we got, then you know that your solution is correct. You are 100% sure of that. Let's substitute together. It's 3 to the power of 1 plus 1 minus 4 multiplied by 3 to the power of 1 minus 1 divided by 3 to the power of 1 minus 2. Please punch this in your calculator. The answer I'm getting is 15. Um, if, I'm, if you're getting something else, let me know. But that's how you do your checks to see if your problem or your solution is correct. Let's do another problem um, that is more interesting than this one. Say you are having 4 multiplied by 3 to the power of x plus 2. Let me just say, let me use a different one here. And say 2, 2x plus 2, right? Minus 3 to the power of x minus 1 multiplied by 3 to the power of x plus 1. Divide by 9 multiplied by 3 to the power of 2x minus 2. So let's say we're having a problem like this. And you're asked to simplify. So the first thing you do is, is to expand these. Expand these problems, right? Expand these and also change these ones. Simplify these 4, simplify this uh, 9. How do you simplify 4? 4 is formed by 2 times 2. How do you write 2 times 2? It's to the power of 1, to the power of 1, same basis, so it's 2 to the power of 2. And then for 9, 9 is formed by 3 times 3. Same base, you add exponents, so it's going to be 3 to the power of 2. So you're just going to do that. Um, you're going to say it's 2 to the power of 2 multiplied by 3 to the power of 2x multiplied by 3 to the power of 2 minus 3 to the power of x multiplied by 3 to the power of minus 1 multiplied by 3 to the power of x multiplied by 3 to the power of 1. Then you divide by 3 to the power of 2 multiplied by 3 to the power of 2x multiplied by 3 to the power of minus 2. Right? And then from here, um, you just want to check on uh, the like terms, right? Like terms, or you can say um, bases that have the same exponents. You check which ones are they. If you see here, this is 3 to the power of 2x. This is 3 to the power of 2x. And here, you need to add these two so that it's also going to be 3 to the power of 2x. And then once you do that, then you're going to factorize it out and divide it, you know. Let's see what I'm talking about. So you're going to have 2 to the power of 2 multiplied by 3 to the power of 2x multiplied by 3 to the power of 2 minus... So because the same basis, you add exponents, so it's going to be 3 to the power of 2x multiplied by 3 to the power of minus 1 multiplied by 3 to the power of 1. Divide by, divide by 3 to the power of 2 multiplied by 3 to the power of 2x multiplied by 3 to the power of minus 2. Excuse me. So um, these two here are going to cancel out. It's going to be 1, right? Because it's going to be 3 to the power of minus 1 plus 1, which is equals to... 3 to the power of 0, anything to the power of 0 is 1. So you'll remain with 2 to the power of 2 multiplied by 3 to the power of 2x multiplied by 3 to the power of 2 minus 3 to the power of 2x, right? Because it's 1, it's just going to multiply by 1, so you don't have to write that 1. And then it's 3 to the power of 2 multiplied by 3 to the power of 2x multiplied by 3 to the power of minus 2. As I said, you have a common base with its common exponent of 2x, including here and here. So let's factorize the one at the top so that we divide it out with this one here. So it's going to be 3 to the power of 2x into 2 to the power of 2 multiplied by 3 to the power of 2 minus 1, right, like this, and then um, divided by 3 to the power of 2 multiplied by 3 to the power of 2x multiplied by 3 to the power of minus 2. Alright, so this will divide out with this, and then this one here is 3 to the power of 2, and this is 3 to the power of minus 2, so it's going to be 3 to the power of 0, which is equals to 1. So, meaning that we will have 2 to the power of 2 multiplied by 3 to the power of 2 minus 1. This is what we're just going to get, because it's just divided by 1. Alright, so we don't have to show it. And then from here, you can just punch this in your calculator. Um, find which answer are you getting, I'm getting 36. So 36 minus 1, right, which you should get 35. So this is the answer of this problem. I think I showed you how you do your checks on proving that um, this is the actual answer. Do your checks for this problem here and um, see that 
correct this is the actual answer so um, now we're done with this problem here so please do try out these problems that I'm giving now uh, try out this one of 8 minus 2 to the power of x plus 2 over 2 to the power of x plus 1 minus 4 and also try this one of root of 16 to the power of x minus 2 to the power of 2x minus 1 divided by 2 to the power of x all to the power of 2. Please try these two problems. Let me know what you're finding in the comment section. Give me those solutions. If you're struggling, let me know also. I will do those problems. Thank you so much for watching. Sharp, sharp. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, suggestions, or comments, please write them down in the comment section below. Otherwise, please subscribe to the channel and don't forget to click that bell button.